Did you know you could use the middle mouse button to pan your scene? To do it, you just simply press and hold your middle mouse button. Often it's a scroll wheel, and you'll get that little hand cursor on your screen. Now you can just drag around your view, and you can move around however you'd like. You can do that in camera views or in plan view. Another cool feature with the middle mouse button is the ability to move items from the corner edit handle instead of the middle edit handle. What I mean is that when you left click on an object, you get this move cursor when you hover over the center and it lets you move it sideways. But if you know you want to move it to a certain area on the corner, a quick shortcut is to grab this handle using the middle mouse button and dragging, and you can snap to items at the corner of your object. The right mouse button has even more features. So if we come off to a spot over here on the side, I can do things like get into my wall mode and start clicking and dragging with my right mouse button. When I do that, if I let go of the mouse and start dragging down, I'm in continuous draw mode. So now I can left click once and it will draw the end of my next wall and start dragging. I'm already in wall mode and it's really fast and easy to draw walls on my plan. I can also select any wall and right click on this end handle and it starts arcing the wall for me. This works for railings, fences, and even lines. When I left click and drag items like stairs, it creates a stair that starts from the floor of the level I'm currently on and it draws them up towards the second level. If I right click while I'm in stair mode, it will create a staircase that starts at the level I'm currently on and draws a stair down towards the floor below. I can use that same trick of right clicking on the end of a staircase and dragging and it will curve that stair for me immediately. Another cool feature of right click is when you want to move something, if I use my right click over the move cursor, I'm able to move it freely on the angle snap set in my plan. If you try to move just with the left mouse button, you get a more constrained move handle that goes only in 90 degree increments. When I rotate with my left mouse button, the rotation snaps to my allowed angles. But if I use my right mouse button and rotate, I have free form rotation. The right mouse also gives me other functionality in my array copy. So let's do this with a plant, for example. If I select this plant and choose my multiple copy tool, but now if I right click and drag, I get part of my array. If I let go of the mouse and move my cursor down the screen, I get the remainder. So it's quick and easy to create a grid of objects using my multiple copy tool. The right click is also the equivalent of the alternate mode, as if you were holding your alt key on your keyboard. One example of this is with your camera tool. So if I create a, a perspective camera, I just click and drag, the program will create a view of my scene using my standard rendering technique. If I use that same camera tool, but instead right click and drag, it will use my alternate rendering technique, which in this case is a vector view. You can set these defaults up however you'd like in the camera defaults. So here I have my standard rendering technique with my left click and drag, and alternate is the vector view.